Okay, here it is, what we've been waiting for, the countdown in French. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des deux EAP et décollage Ariane 237. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Well, no doubt about it, night has turned to day, and the rumble in the Amazon jungle is that mighty Ariane 5 ECA. She's roaring out over Devil's Island. Take a la look at that picture correct, right la trajectoire now. Est nominale. One minute uh, into flight coming up, and the Ariane 5 has already broken the sound barrier here in Karu. The massive Jupiter facility that I'm at, we're going to start feeling it and hearing it. And here it is right now. I can begin to feel it. The massive Jupiter facility would have been shaking as 1,300 tons of thrust breaks the Ariane 5 free from the bounds of Earth's gravity. 90% of that power is coming from the two boosters burning 240 tons of solid propellant in two minutes, better than two tons a second. When the boosters have done calme. their job less than a minute from now, Ariane will be over 70 kilometers in the sky, racing away from us more than uh, 1.6 kilometers a second. And that's faster than a speeding bullet. Information coming to us now from the Galat. The pilotage is calm, the trajectory is nominal. Right behind us here in Jupiter. The next major event, the burnout and the jettison of those two solid rocket boosters. That will happen at 2 minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. So about 10 more seconds. La propulsion est nominale. Give us the horsepower and then they will extinguish and fall away. Separation des deux EAP. And there you hear it from the trajectoire nominale. The boosters have done their job. We don't need them anymore. On the pad, the Ariane 5 weighed 780 tons. By the way, look at the pictures from a previous flight of the boosters falling away. We're down now to 100 tons. Weight Watchers, if you've ever seen it. Uh, in the rocket business, when you get lighter, you go faster. And Ariane is now really moving on out. Uh, about 91 kilometers uh, into the sky. The trajectory is nominal. Uh, watch the speed number, 9.3 is our target number. Next up, the jettison of the fairing. It's covered the satellites on the ground and protected us from friction in the early part the of the flight. The pilotage is calm, the propulsion is nominal. And we don't need it uh, anymore. It is going to be uh, separating in uh, a couple of seconds. Aha. Separation coif, trajectoire nominal. And you hear the DDO say separation coif. The fairing falls away. There you see the great photos from a previous flight. We just lost another two tons. And uh, with the fairing gone, Viasat 2 is exposed to space for the first time. While the launcher is technically in space, La propulsion we still est nominal. have a long way to go. I call your attention to the performance numbers on the screen, and you'll see that graph in the upper right-hand corner. The desired flight plan for Ariane 5, you'll see a dot moving along that line. We want that dot and that line to overwrap each other perfectly. Uh, that means that our performance is nominal, and you'll keep hearing the DDO call out performance is nominal. The main cryogenic stage, or EPC, is burning. It'll burn for nine minutes. 
le heavy lifting being done by the mighty Balkan engine le pilotage est calme 320 kg about 700 pounds of fuel a second that's 500 times more than a jet engine that you probably flew down here to Kourou on if you're here in the audience you look at uh, the images again right now they are uh, animated images la trajectoire est nominale We have the first stage, and then you have the silda, the black uh, covering that is over the top of Eurosat 172. And then Viasat 2 on the tip of the sword as it uh, makes its way on out uh, toward uh, orbit. You see again Galliot, the space uh, uh, tracking station that we have here in the uh, local area. We're going to use five of uh, those. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Uh, we'll tell you more about those later. 537, you just heard the DDO say that uh, performance is normal, and normal is good here at uh, Corvou. La propulsion est nominale. Uh, replays coming up in a moment. <laughs> uh, I could sit and watch replays of uh, the Ariane launches uh, all night Il reste long. Trois minutes de propulsion de l'étage à propulsion cryogénique. Look at that raw power when those solid rocket boosters fired off. And once they do, the Ariane 5 is uh, committed. It's going off that launch pad. 620 into uh, the flight now. And the number one question I get from people uh, is uh, when I tell them, hey, you know, I'm going to French Guiana for a rocket launch, they scratch La their head, they say, why correct. French Guiana? Well, the Kourou Space Base is about 300 miles north of the equator. And uh, the Earth rotates faster here than it does, say, at Kennedy Space Center. Thus, the Ariane 5 gets a huge boost from the Earth's rotation, allowing satellite operators to uh, launch heavier payloads, add more fuel to their birds, increase optional, or operational life, meaning more revenue. Il reste the deux minutes de propulsion de l'étage à propulsion cryogénique. It pays more to, uh, it pays off rather, to uh, launch with Ariane space. La trajectoire the est nominale. That's the bottom line. As we approach the 744 mark, that will be the next key thing to watch for. Uh, the Ariane 5 uh, will be uh, picked up uh, by our tracking stations in uh, Tal, uh, Brazil. Uh, tonight we're using five tracking stations. I told you about Galat uh, that is here. Uh, Natal in Brazil. Uh, then out in the middle of the uh, Atlantic Ocean is Ascension Island. Uh, we use that uh, tonight. Lieberville, Gabon, on the west coast of Africa. And Acquisition de la télémesure Lancer par la station de Natal au Brésil. And uh, again, what happens is Arian sends data to those ground stations, and that gives us the uh, flight uh, data in real time on how it's progressing. Radar engineers are going to pour over every single bit of that data to uh, determine exactly how the vehicle performed every split second of its uh, climb uh, away from uh, Corvu. And uh, when we near 8.40, that's just a few seconds away, It'll be the cutoff for the main stage or the EPC. La propulsion est toujours nominale some of the calls from the DDO and you're going to begin to see the uh, flame on the end of the EPC begin to uh, flicker fin de propulsion de l'étage à propulsion cryogénique and separation de l'EPC but it's separated and the upper stage Allumage de l'étage supérieur cryogénique, trajectoire nominale. And everything is nominal, and that means the main stage has done its job. 
great pictures from our previous mission of it falling away. It drops into the ocean off Africa. The upper stage will burn for about 16 minutes. 